みなさん、こんにちは。And welcome to Shogo's podcast.So today, I'd like to share with you something I experienced that I found out that I was completely misunderstanding.、Yep. And it's something that I knew, found out, experienced when I was actually playing my shakuhachi, the flute, on, in my channel, my YouTube channel, and also on Instagram. So, for a really long time, I was actually really, really scared that、uh, because, you know, my level of my shakuhachi, I started like eight months ago. The, my level of my shakuhachi is completely,、um, what should I say, very beginner level. You know, I just started and it's terrible, to be honest, as music. And I know that I really do want to show everyone the culture and I want to show everyone the process of me getting better and how I take lessons, what I learned every week, you know, and things like that. And it's something like, it, even if you don't have an environment where you can train in it or if you don't have time, you can watch someone actually training and getting better and seeing the process. If someday, if you want to actually start training, you can kind of like follow the same path and kind of have an image of how you get better, right? So, As just, what should I say, just enjoy the journey together of us getting better and being able to make better content in the future and everything.、Um, we really do enjoy and love showing you guys、uh, what we do. Even though we're not prof- professionals very, very far away from them, we still enjoy、uh, doing live streams and such. But at the same time, everything else that I do、um, in my training live streams on my main channel or on Instagram and such, like Iaido, No Theater, those two are the two. Things that I do, I guess, yeah. But、um, I have a little bit more experience, right? I've been training in Yaido for seven years now and no theater for about four years. Yeah, this is, a four, this is my fourth year, I think. But、um, the Shakuhachi, I just started last September, right? So it's something that I started once we started the YouTube channel and I just really lack skill and experience. And what, what, what I was afraid of was that. Because I know there's a lot of viewers and I have a lot of friends watching my live streams and my channel who are already professionals of music or even professionals of the shakuhachi, actually. I have some friends in the US who have been playing the shakuhachi for more than a decade and they, their skills are amazing and their dedication you know, towards the art and the music is really, really just something stunning and respectful.、Uh, I respect it a lot, you know. So, I was very afraid that if I start doing live streams, you know, and you know, we, our channel has a great amount of subscribers, we actually achieve 1 million subscribers, right? And, you know, using a channel with so many subscribers and broadcasting a terrible, you know, what should I say,、um, level of skills in any kind of art, I thought it might be a little bit disrespectful. And I thought the people, you know, who are already professionals of music would be,、mm, should I say, not angry, but. Dissatisfied, uncomfortable, something like that. Yeah. But I was proven completely wrong. And I just found out that I had a big, big misunderstanding. So, as a result, what happened is that the people who I knew were absolutely professionals in music, you know, basically doing it their whole lives almost, were so,、um, what should I say, supporting and caring. And giving us so many warm words, both to you know, Tomoko, who plays the Shamisen, and me, who plays the Shakuhachi. They're like, You're doing a great job. You're so much better than last week. you know, And compared to when you started, you were able to you know, blow the same note、um, perfectly for a longer time. And everyone is so nice and kind to us, you know, even though we really, really do terrible still. Yeah. Because you know, I, I say that because I used to belong to the chorus club when I was in high school, and we were doing it pretty seriously, even you know, trying. To aim to win a national competition in singing. So I know a little bit about music. So I know that my flute is terrible. <laughs> of course it is. We just started. But still, you know, if I'm just practicing on my own, it wouldn't be a problem. But showing it to the world, you know, my terrible skills, I thought some people might be, you know, not that happy about it. But I was completely proven wrong. And I've come to realize this is today's main point. This is the most important、um, part about today's、uh, podcast. But I come to realize that a real professional, a person who is really seriously dedicated to an art, it could be anything, are much nicer. Because they know, they understand the hard times, right? They understand that everyone is once, was once a beginner. And you, we all go through that, right? There is no person that just comes out of their mother's womb and say, just suddenly start playing an instrument or start singing or writing a picture or writing a novel or whatever it is, right? It's impossible. That's not a human being, right? And I've come to realize that the people who really are 
doing something seriously are the people who are kind. And that goes the other way around too. The people who come up to you and say, no, you're, you're not doing good enough. You're not skilled enough. You're not experienced enough. Don't show this to other people. You know, just shut up or things like that to you. These are the people who don't have confidence in themselves because they haven't worked hard enough, right? I've come to realize that. It was something so simple, but I just wasn't able to recognize until I actually started doing it and seeing all the warm messages from everyone. So I just wanted to uh, introduce the story to you. And also, I wanted to say to you that if you ever have someone coming up to you and telling you some of these negative things that I just said, like, you know, again, um, you're not skilled enough or, you know, why are you showing this to, to everyone? Aren't you embarrassed or things like that? Whenever someone comes up to you and tells you that, always remember that that person really does not have confidence in him or herself. Yep. And that person has definitely not dedicated enough time and energy into what they're doing. And that's the reason why they say those things, because they just want everyone to come down to where they are. Right. Yeah. So whenever you meet someone that tells you that, just say, oh, really? And just walk away and just ignore them. Yep. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing from now on, because I know that the per people who are really doing something seriously are the kind and warm people. I just found out that through my YouTube activities again. So everyone, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. So I know that there's a lot of people who are studying Japanese, willing to come to Japan to travel, study, and work, and even train in our traditional culture and such, just like the music maybe Yeah, we have been talking about today. But I am very afraid that Japan will not be able to provide these things in the future because we are losing our traditional culture. There's a lot of social problems um, in our society, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them, right? So I want, really want to dedicate my life to try to make Japan a better place. I want to um, try to solve the social problems, I want to preserve and evolve traditional culture, and also help out the younger generations so they can have a brighter future. Yep. And in order to do that, my first step... <laughs> I'm laughing right now because I always used to say my first step is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023 on my main channel, but um, I actually can't say that anymore because we already achieved 1 million subscribers. And as I said in yesterday's podcast too, on, oh no, not yesterday, on Friday actually, on my new goal for my main channel on YouTube, there's a lot of other goals too, but my main channel on my YouTube is 2 million subscribers by January 2023 without changing the time limit. So all your likes and comments will help to boost my videos and new viewers have, haven't seen my channel before. It'd be great if you can help me out. Yep. We are aiming to try to be the... Um, the biggest YouTube channel um, done by a Japanese person who is sending out information to, to um, overseas countries. So I hope you can help us out. And of course, we will do our best to try to make better content. Yep. So thank you so much. And I'll be waiting again for your comments uh, about uh, today's podcast and today's uh, topic too. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. I'll talk to you again soon.